Thursday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Today I had a special request from Kathy to make panda bears. So without further ado, we're going to flip the screen and get started. So we're just going to bring this around and over to my work table. And just bear with me a couple of minutes when I get set up. Hopefully you guys can see the templates there. I'm just going to pull you up on my computer so I can see what you guys can see. And let me know where you're watching from and what you're working on, what wire art and jewelry projects you're working on. And I am going to open this up. So we have... You can see these templates. Let me move this around a little bit. I also might have to pull this camera out a little bit more, just so we're nice and centered there. And I will get my wires and we are going to get started. So there might be a little bit of a delay. Hi, Peggy, how are you? Just let me, I'm just going to figure out what you guys can see because I think there is a little bit of a delay here. I will just, refresh my screen. I'm going to get some wires. So I have some 18 and 20 gauge silver wire. And I'm just going to also, yeah, bring these ones over a little bit. Move this one up, I think. It should be good. And pull up my sleeves and get started. There we go. We're going to bring that up a little bit. Perfect. So we should be on the screen. I also have some black and white wire. The only thing is the white wire is quite thick. So I'm gonna see what I can do about that. And then I have some brown and green in case I wanna do some leaves and silver and gold. So I think I'm gonna probably work mostly with silver today and see how we go. Hi, Amber. Hi, Mirta. So if you guys don't already know, Tree Sap Girl is Amber. She's one of the moderators on my channel. I super appreciate you being here. Hi, Ruth. Panda designs are cute. Thank you. So this is, um, I do the designs on uh, Canva. Canva is a uh, graphic website where I make all my PDFs and stuff. So they have some, they have some graphics that I transform into wire designs. So that's what we're going with this. The idea is to do a, a drawing with one single line. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to start with a pretty simple one. Usually I start with 20 gauge wire and then we'll go from there. So I'm just going to grab some 20 and I think I'll do silver and gold today. We're going to figure it out. So I'll just grab some 20 gauge wire and we are going Pandorable, that's cute, I like that. And also maybe we should measure this wire to be sure that we have more or less the right length. So I'm just gonna grab a pencil and ruler and we'll measure the wire so we can somewhat keep track of how it goes. Gracie, it's so adorable, thank you. So let us Go ahead and cut a piece of wire, uh, maybe about 24 inches to be sure. And so this was a special request from Kathy. I don't know if Kathy's gonna hop on today, but we can bring, I'm gonna bring this down a little bit more. It might be got pushed over a little bit. So if you wanna follow the templates, I always put these in my Etsy DIY shop after the fact, but I think I'm just going to Play around with them and see what I can come up with. Um, maybe just the panda face could be cute too. I like the idea of doing, I should actually pull up a picture of a panda so I can see the markings because are they white with black spots or black with white spots? So I'm just going to pull up a picture on my computer and see for the coloring how it looks. Because I think they're, the ears are black, I guess. The face is white. This one is sort of, this one had sort of um, colored in areas. So let me just see. Yeah, so the, the ears are black. And this part's black. This part's black. This is all white. And then around the eye would be black. Okay, just so I have for reference. And I should, you'd think I would know that by now. So I made my brother-in-law a panda coaster. Oh, 
The panda was done in wire. Oh, so cool. You must have sent us a picture of that at one point. I don't remember seeing that because you sent me, you sent us a lot of really beautiful pictures of coasters, but I must have seen it. That's awesome. Cool. So now we are going to just maybe start down here and work our way around. This is actually a big piece of wire, so maybe I'll try to do a whole panda with this one. I'm kind of delaying here because I'm not exactly sure what direction I'm going with. This one's really cute too, and this one's really cute too. I like the little, I like the little paws on that one. Maybe I'll try that one. So we just have to figure out where we're gonna start. Maybe I'll start sort of at the nose there and go from there. So I am going to remove this and kind of eyeball it rather than tracing the whole thing as such i'm just going to play around with it and see what i can come up with i keep going like trying to center this this paper so if we start with like a nose type of thing and i don't really want it to be super round but we could try to make it a little bit more ovally because sometimes when things are too round, they don't look really natural. So I'm going to bring this one around and then do the eyes type of thing. And we're going to go around here, bring the eye. And I really hope I'm not going to run out of wire, but we're going to see. So we're going to bring this one around, bring that one around here, up there. And then this side too. So we're going to bring this one around and do the round part of the eye there and bring it to the back. So we've got some going to the back and some wires going to the front. So we're going to bring that one around here. Yeah. And then bring it down. And these pandas have sort of like teardrop almost looking eyes in a way. So I'm going to do them slightly thicker at the bottom, the wider and then bring this one up and we're going to curve it around to form the face. So we're gonna bring that one around here and do the same over here. We're gonna curve it around. So that's the beginning part of our panda with the nose. And then we wanna curve this around and up. I have a feeling I'm not gonna have enough wire, but we're gonna try this. So I cut, what did I say? I cut 20. Did I say 20 inches? So it might not be enough wire. So we're gonna bring this one around here. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit higher there and up. And then we wanna form the ears. So trying to compare it to the drawing around here and then just bring some, the ears. It kind of go down in there, but I don't know if I wanted them down or up. I'm just gonna follow the drawing exactly and then we'll go from there. So the ears don't have to be super big. Yeah, so that's one kind of ear, slightly pointed. There we go. And then bring it up around the head. And then we're gonna go to the other side here and do the other. It's sort of like triangular looking for the ears. We're gonna bring that one up here and then bring that one down. So already it looks somewhat like the panda. It looks pretty well like the, like the drawing. So we're, and then we wanna bring this part underneath, underneath there. So just to show you, I'm just going by that idea. So we're gonna put that one underneath there and we are going to bring that one around and take this and right under sort of the center there, I'm gonna bring it down and we're gonna form the feet. So I'm quite worried I'm gonna run out of wire, but I'm gonna try to do it as close as I can to the drawing. So we're gonna take this, bring it up, and then I had done like these little loopy things. So we're gonna take this, bring it down and we can always pinch those little loops in a little bit. So we're gonna push that in a bit. And then another one here. And then again, we'll do that little loopy thing. The loopy things just make it look kind of cute. Push that one in there. And so 
hard to access sometimes. We're gonna just push that over and then bring it up. So that's gonna be like the little toe things. They're kind of cute. And uh, if I do run out of wire, I'll just do what I can and then we'll go from there. So that's like the one little foot thing. And we're gonna bring this one up and then around. Like I said, I'm just following this drawing. It's smaller than that, so I'm not gonna do it as big as that one. And we're just gonna take this one, curve it around to kind of be like the little, the little leg thing. The head might be ginormous, but we're gonna see and then bring that one up that way and that way. And then we can, again, do sort of the little toe type of things. And even if it's, even if I run out of wire, you'll still get an idea of how to do it. And we'll know to use more wire the next time. I, I usually cut more wire than I need. This time I might've just um, not done enough at all. So this goes out this way. And then this is gonna be sort of the back leg. Might be all right. So that's sort of the back leg. He's kind of funky. And then this one, we wanna do the other arm here. So this, we're just gonna curve it around. Curve it around here. Zoop. And bring it down this way. And then it looks like it's sort of curved in almost like he's scooping up some food or something. So that's interesting. We're gonna bring that one that way. And then again, we can do the little loopy thing. So we're gonna go like that, bring this one down. Hi, Dan, how are you? From Kenya, whoa, that's so cool. I love that. Very nice. So we have people from all over the place here. A lot of people from the States. Uh, so often we have people from the UK and it's nice to get people from all over the world, which is wonderful. And Mustafa used to hop on a lot. He's from India, but he's very busy with school. So uh, he hasn't been on for a little while, but uh, maybe when his school finishes, he'll have more time. So here's Bear, not too bad. I might have just enough wire. Okay, and then this is gonna come up around and then around over the back. Gosh, guys, look at that. I might have just enough wire. So we're gonna bring that one around here. And then this part got a little bit kinked, but maybe we can fix this part so we can actually like use up all the wire. We're gonna bring that one around and out and then curve that one around to form the back. Oh, wow, that's so cool. So, from here, we want to put one of the wires straight up to so we can have like a little pendant thing going on. But we also want to make sure it's going to be long enough. So I'm going to bend it back maybe around here. Could always adjust it a little bit. And then we're going to attach that guy here. So I like the idea of him being like a little bit chubby. So we're going to bring that one here and then down and around. And then here we can just bend that one around. So let's just take this and bend it around. Bring it in here. Should be good. Oh yeah, that's good. So now we are going to take this end and bring it through, bring it around. So we're gonna just pinch that a bit, kind of rotate it a bit so it'll hold in place. So that's cool. There we go. And from there, you know, if you want to do a sun catcher or something, you can always add a bead. But if you don't want to add a bead, we can just do a loop uh, either perpendicular to put it right on a cord or a loop um, parallel, and then you'd put a jump ring on it. So let's just do it perpendicular. You could do a single bail loop, or we have wire. Why don't we just do a double one? because um, think after thinking I had not enough wire, I realized we have just enough wire, in fact, a little bit extra. So we're gonna take that and bend that right down there. Oh, that should be good. And give that a little clip. Uh, get my cutters. So we have success surprisingly with panda number one. So there we go. It looks 
pretty well exactly like the drawing, not too bad. In fact, this part could have been like even less wide, I guess, but there you go. So there's Panda number one, worked pretty well. So like I said, I'll put the templates in the description uh, later today so you can see that. So number one done, Chubby Panda, Here, there we go. So let's do that one. And then the other one, I thought this was really cute, like against the, the tree like that. So I'm going to try something like that. So let's do him in um, silver or gold or white. Let me just think. So I wonder if I could do the outline in white and go in with the black. I'm going to try that since that's why we're here is to try new things. So let's get some of the white wire. And a panda emoji is so cute. So let's get a piece of the white wire. We have lots. So, oh, it's stuck in there. I'm not sure why. So let us cut a piece of the wire. 18 gauge. Cut a way too, way too big piece. And if we're going to, because the ears are black, right? So maybe I'll just, and the arms are black. Hmm. Which part is white? This part's white. Let me just see what I can do. If I want to just do the outline and then we should do the face in white. Let me just, or uh, maybe we should do it in black and then add the white. Although the outside of the face, let me look at a picture of a panda again. Yeah, the outside is white. So let us, let me just think. Okay, so I'm going to, Start just by doing the head. Let's just start by doing the head around here. I'm just gonna start it here and just see what see what happens. Okay, and we're gonna bring this one around. And and then the oh I see, I went back and forth. And then the do do pandas have a tail? That's my question. And if pandas have a tail, what color is it? So let's look, let's look, panda, tail. Let's see if they have a tail. I'm just looking on Google. If you, oh, the tail is white. Ha, huh. interesting. Okay, so, 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 so let's do a white tail. There, okay, we're gonna do a white tail. There, around there. This is really stiff wire because this is 18 gauge, but it's also, um, hmm. it's also, uh, I don't know, it's just stiff. So it's, it's, I don't know if it's a regular copper or whatever it is, it's like a plastic coated wire. So if we bring this one around here and then we're gonna form the feet, the foot, for this one so we're just to get them about the same size this is very very cartoony as you can see but we're going to try something with this and as, as always i'm thinking out loud because i'm not quite sure exactly how i want to do that and let me just look at the panda's face again hmm okay so this i think i'm gonna have them like face view but what do, what do I want to do to finish these ends? That's the, that's the question. How do I want to finish these ends of the panda? And do I want to do something with this wire and go around it with the black? Maybe I do. So let's see. So let's bring this one up, straight up, because I'm not quite sure what I want to do with that one yet. And then this one... Let's look at the panda again to see his. Da, 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 da. The belly is white. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we're going to do the chubby little belly somehow. So let's just take this and bring that one out. And if the belly is white, we're going to bring that one around here. Mm hmm. And. One arm goes that way. Do we, we do we want to do another arm? That's the question. Like another arm behind the tree? Maybe. Maybe we should have done two legs. Let's see. We have so much wire. 
we may as well do something with all this wire. So what if we, this might be ridiculous, so we're gonna try this. We're gonna bring that one out and, because we can put the tree between the legs maybe. And this is the fun thing about making art. We're not quite sure how it's gonna turn out, but we're gonna try it because it might be interesting. So now we're gonna, let's, let's just get this little belly going out here. And then we can do another arm here and around here. So that would be sort of a basic, basic shape for the panda. And then we're gonna have to get some other colors on there, I guess. And that one's gonna go up like that. This one, do I want it to be attached to that? That's the question. Do I want to attach that to here or not? Or do I want to bring this one around to there? Or do I even want to, do I even want to go this route? Maybe I want to just cut that off at some point or attach it to the tree. So when, when I'm not sure, I'm going to put that at the side. I'm going to remove this. Hi, Clarice. How are you? So if you guys don't know, uh, I, Clara, is Clarice, who's the, another moderator on my channel and also uh, one of the moderators in the Wiremakers Club. So she just uh, shared the link to the Wiremakers Club. If you guys aren't already a member, you can join and share pictures of your wire art and jewelry. So nice to see you, Clarice. And uh, it's a beautiful, sunny-ish day in Montreal, probably about the same where you are. So now we're gonna cut a piece of the brown wire because now I'm skipping forward and I wanna do some bamboo. So let's skip forward and try to do some bamboo. And what I will start with is just taking the bottom of the brown wire and bend it that way. And I'm pretty big, I think, that way. So the bamboo is just looks like something like that. And then we're gonna add some leaves. So if the green might be a little bit thick, I don't have 22, I have 24 or 20 gauge green wire. So let's just take some 20 so it'll show up and I can always backpedal and try something else. So if we have the 20 gauge and we want to attach some little leaves there, let us go ahead and take, take the wire and start forming, I guess it could be cool if you had little leaf beads too. So I'm just going to try to do some little leaves. We're going to bring that one around here. And as always with these live streams, if you guys want to check in and check out, it's totally fine because I'm just spending this time to kind of troubleshoot designs. And when you guys have ideas, I really appreciate it. And also if, um, like I said, if you have to come and go, it's totally fine because sometimes it takes a while to do the designs. So what I'm wondering is maybe rather than bring the wire, the green wire up, I might just do this in separate sections and see how it goes. So if we take this and we take this one that way and put this one on here and just bend it around to hold it in place. We could bring it, bend it around a couple of times here. Just bring it around and clip it there. Yesterday I was at the Viva Vida Art Gallery finishing up my watercolor class. I offered a five-week watercolor class at the gallery and last night we did the lighthouses. So I was thinking of you, Amber, because originally I did those for you and your daddy. So that was really fun. They really enjoyed doing the, the lighthouses. And if you guys want to learn how to paint a lighthouse with watercolor, I have the that live stream on my Heather Boyd Art channel. So um, lots going on over there. I uh, have I do challenges over there as well. A lot of watercolor drawing, things like that. So if you guys like art, you can hop over to that channel. So now I've just done the three leaves and I can wind it around 
again at the bottom, or I can simply clip it like that and bring that one that way. And lighthouses, yay. Yeah, that was fun. Very fun. And we're gonna be doing another one soon to get on that, just being really busy with that class. So, so there is those leaves. And then the bamboo kind of comes in a little bit. I don't want me to do it super big. I get I guess you could do wire weaving in there too. That would be quite pretty. We can let's just try that. I'm probably not gonna do much of it because it's gonna take me forever. But to show you, if you did want to fill in the bamboo, you can take some thinner uh, wire. This one is this one is 22. So I'm just gonna do it to show you guys, but I will not make you sit through the treasury of me trying to like weave this whole thing, but say you did wanna fill it in, you can do that simple weave where you weave it around, bring it up, weave it around here, and then you keep going up. So that would actually look really cute. I'm just, like I said, I don't think I have time to do the whole thing woven, but this gives you an idea. So you did want to do the wire weaving, you can do it. And it just gives it a little bit more body. See, like it just fills it in a little more, which is super cute. Uh, I'm not gonna do that much. I'll just finish one section. And then it has to, the bamboo gets a little wider as you go out, so try to separate those wires a little bit more because it gets skinny in the middle and then it gets thicker when you go out. So that's the idea of, of the bamboo. I'm going to just stop it there because otherwise we will be here until the cows come home weaving wire. Okay, so those who are wire weavers know how long it takes, but that's the idea. So that would be like woven. Um, I am going to compress these a little bit together because I don't want it to be that big. Uh, so let's just pinch, compress the weaving together a little bit. Okay, so there's that. And then from there, we go out. From there, we're going to bring it in again and out. So in and out. So this is gonna be uh, another one. And then we can put a couple of leaves there too. So let's get our, let's get our green again. And we will do some more leaves. So we're gonna go like that. Another couple of leaves and that way. Very simple leaves. So like that, and this is getting, oh, this is long now. So we're gonna cut that one. And you're probably gonna be like, get to the pandas already, but we are going to get there. So don't worry about that. I'm just gonna clip that one end here. Again, so we just have clip one side and get this one over here. Okay, that one could go, we could do two leaves on that side and bring this one I'm going to help it out a little bit with the pliers, I think. So we're going to take that one, bring it over this way, and bring this one in here. In you go. And around here. Perfect. So that one goes there. And then over here, we're going to bring this one to the back. And then if you want to do another leaf on this side, we can bring it here over here and then we can just do another leaf on this side if you want you just do as many leaves as you want and the leaves as well if you want to fill them in a bit there is also that method where I just take it in and then I go in another time like a double kind of loop thing you can do there's there's all kinds of little hacks you can do to fill in the wire now this piece is a little a little small but you can kind of spiral the wire in like almost like a chaos wrap and then you see that fills it in a little bit more so if you want to do that to fill the leaves in you can definitely do that so there's so far our bamboo which is getting 
slightly out of control, but that's okay. So now we're going to do this one. And again, if you want to do the, the leaf and say another idea to get the leaves to, or to separate these. Yeah. How can we do this? We could do push this to the side that way. Okay. It's an idea. And then we're going to take this one and push it to the side that way. So already we have like a little separation thing going there. And then we're going to do that around and flip it. Make sure I'm staying on camera. I'm going to, should I bring this closer? I'm going to bring this a little closer. And we're going to take that one that way and that way. So that's another way to do these little separations. Wow, they kind of look like bones, but that's kind of cool. So then we're going to bring this one that way and up. We'll do the same thing here. So this is another way to make the bamboo sections because this the sections are, you know, like that, right? So how tall do we want it? We don't want to make it too tall. So once we get to the top, how do we finish it off? That's a good question. So we're going to just cut this, put this straight across and you could, if you want to fit, maybe if it's going to be easier, rather than finishing it at the top, it's going to be a little hard. So I'm going to straighten this wire out again a bit. And I'm going to take this end and wind it to the back. Trim it. And then just hook this on here. I think that's going to work. So if we just hook it onto there and close it that might be easier then it won't be all like knotted up at the top it'll be sort of knotted down here but it, it will hide it because we'll put the leaf on there so that's not going to be such a such a problem so we're going to finish it there and do the same on this side we're going to bring it down and finish it down on this side Okay, so we're going to take that and we're going to finish this one down here and clip it and stick it in here. There we go. Perfect. So we've got that. And if ever you guys have questions about, you know, wire art and jewelry making or art in general, you can pop your questions in the comment section. I've never actually done a Q&A, but if ever you guys have questions that are related to what we're doing, wire art and jewelry, uh, let me know because I could probably answer your questions. And if I can't answer your questions, somebody else in the group might be able to answer them. So there is, it's a little funky, but we're going to put, uh, we're going to put some uh, leaves on there. So this is the idea. I'm not sure about this. I, I much prefer it being wo um, woven with the with the thinner wire. I don't know if there's an easy way to weave it. We can just try it. I definitely like it woven. You can also like kind of twist the wire might be interesting if you did sort of a twisted wire rather than the um, these things like that uh here you know what maybe we can just do this it might look silly but we can try it like just to fill it in a little bit look up here and then up here i just find it really really bare but maybe we can just do a cheat here and then up here because i find yeah i find it very bare without the weaving so i'm just gonna do like a little cheat thing here and then bring that one in and bring that one to the back so that'll just fill it in a little bit without actually being wire woven because I found it very very bare so there's that and then that's good that would go in his arms but let's get back to the panda I can put add more things on there after so let's get some 20 gauge wire and see what we can do to add some details to the panda. And this might or might not get scrapped. We're gonna see how it goes. So what we want to do is add some ears. 
And then we also want to add the face. I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to add the face in a way that it makes sense because we could do like little, maybe some beads. Let me get some beads. I'm going to see what I have. I don't know what color eyes pandas have, but since we're decking this guy out, why don't we go ahead? We can maybe do some little turquoise eyes or yellow eyes. I'm not sure. And then we can do a little nose. Maybe a little pink nose or something. Purple nose. Pink. Pink. Red nose, maybe. What do you think? Red nose, maybe. Red. And what color eyes? Yellow or blue eyes? I'm not sure. Let's see. Um, maybe a little red nose. Let's see how he looks. We can put that one there. So if we'd have to have the nose and then we'd have to maybe put some, the black around it. And then for the eyes, how in the world would we do that? We can just bring that one out here and maybe put an eye there. We're gonna do that around here. And then we could, hmm, let me just see what we're gonna do. Because we, we could do one, let me just get rid of this nose thing. I'm not sure about the nose. But what if, what if we took this wire up? Let's take this wire up, okay? Because we don't have a lot of wiggle room with this wire because it's very thick so if we do this one there and that one out here then we would just have these two wires i'm going to trim this and if we put an eye here i don't know if anybody has an opinion about the color of eye but maybe it doesn't really matter so if we put this one here we'd have to bend it in to hold it in place that's the thing so this is a total experiment we're going to see how that goes so if we did one eye like that and then we'll get another one and we're going to put this one on here okay. and make sure it's sort of in a similar position Bring this one around here and if this doesn't work it, it'll actually be useful because it'll tell you guys what not to do so i've just stuck those beads on there we're going to see what happens i'm going to clip that clip one side and then clip the other side and we'll get rid of these guys I'm going to have a sip of water. This does not look like a panda, but we're going to we're going to go with it for now. So those are the eyes and then what we want to do is attach these together. So I will take this and put this one on here. I'm not sure if this is in the right position now or not. We can maybe move these down a bit. Let me see if I can move these down a little bit. They're a little high. Let's see. And then we're gonna take this one and wind this around. So we're gonna take this, hold these two together, and wind it around a little bit. I could always add the nose after whoopsies and then i'm just gonna look at a panda's face again a picture uh panda face um but the, sorry i'm just looking on google to see what it looks like yeah they've just got yeah he doesn't even have black here that's what i'm wondering the nose is black okay so if the nose is black we can bring that one around 
So we're going to bring this one down maybe, and then maybe I'm going to skip up here and see what happens. So if the nose is black and then this, we'd have to come up here and just bring the wire around. Yeah, this is, I'm not sure this is going anywhere, but if we wind this around, it might work a little bit like a panda. It also might not. So if we're gonna bring this one around here. Okay, so we're gonna just bring that. They're not really in the right position. And then this one, we're gonna bring that one up here maybe. So let's see if we're gonna bring this one would come up back up here. I think I'm just going to clip this. And then this one, we're going to bring it up through here. It's very hard with wire to make things look like they make sense, especially with something like this, where you have areas of color that are um, one color, like black, and then some that are white, and having things that are free, like, standing type of thing, like in their features of the face and stuff like that are very, very difficult to do. But I'm just gonna, this is gonna look like an alien, but at this point, we're just going with it. So it's kind of cute, it's kind of interesting. So the shape isn't right. Like the shape, panda's eyes are more oval. So maybe we can like adjust these sideways and squish them in so they're a little bit more oval. And then I'm gonna do the ears. So we're going to take this one, bring it in, and push it in a little bit. And I'm just gonna check something here. There we go, perfect, okay. So now we have these little ends that we wanna hide underneath, I think. Yes, yeah, so we'll just put those ends underneath because they're just in the way now. These are like kind of funky, these eyes. I'm not quite sure what they're doing, but I am trying to make them a little bit more oval and condensed. So we're gonna bring that one in here. This one's, maybe pull it in a little bit. It got, it's a little bit wide, so if we can just bring it in a little bit, that might make more sense. Okay, so there's very strange looking panda. So now we're gonna get some black for the ears. Let me cut another piece. Uh, there we go. And see how that's going to work. So, beautiful panda eyes, thank you. For your vote of confidence, Mirta, I am not 100% convinced this is going in the right direction, but we are going to do what we can. And I'm gonna go back and look at my image of the panda ears. They're quite cute. And then for the ears, we want to start to one side over here maybe. And I'm just going to, I might form the ears first. So what if we just like, did a bunch of like roundabout things here, almost like a spiral, but they don't have to be like perfect type of thing. Let's see how they're gonna work. I don't know if I want them to be more round. Like, see, we can do like little kind of spirally ears like that. And then we can go over to here. We could do maybe hang, let's see how that's gonna work. Say we do this type of thing like that. Oopsies. Okay, let's try this. So we're gonna stick that one in here and say this is the ear. We're gonna bring this one around here. Oopsies. Around there. And around here. Okay, so we want that to hold in place there. And then we want this wire to come around to the back so it's somewhat hidden because we don't want to 
see it. Let's see how far apart the ears should be. They're sort of to each side, I guess. Um, all I'm getting online are like pictures of cartoony um, pandas. So what I'm thinking too is, looks like maybe the panda's head is not like super round. It, it looks like it points up a little bit. So I'm gonna just do a little bit of a point here, okay? And then curve this around and then bring this, this I'm gonna have to hold here and bring this to the front. So we're gonna take this, bring it around to the front and go around a couple of times because the idea is you want the black wire to be hiding behind there to look like it's somewhat like not even visible. So now we're gonna take this and do more of our chaos type twist wrap thing. So I'm gonna take this, bring it down and then just wind. This is 20 gauge, isn't it? Yeah, it feels stiff all of a sudden. So we're gonna bring this one around and just wind it around to form like the spirally thing. So there we go, round and round. Round and round and round we go. So, how many more? Did I count those? One, two, three, four, five, one. We'll do one more, okay. Just to get them more or less even. Around here. Okay, around here. So those would be the funny little ears. There we go. And then we want it, we need to attach it on this side. That's a really big ear. Maybe I don't need that many wound, winds of wire. I think I went around too many times. So now we're gonna take this and put it through here. Okay, so we're gonna go through here. And yeah, that looks good. Perfect. And around here. There we go, perfect. So now let's give that a little clip. There you go, and then this one. I'm gonna bring this one around to the front and through here. And we'll just wind it around a couple of times. Good, so that'll be the ears. I haven't quite decided if I'm gonna do anything with the nose. Here we go. There, so cute. There's the ears. And we just have to slightly try to hide some of these. This, because the nose is black, turns out. Looks like anyway. So we could even maybe do a black bead or something for the nose. It's cute. Let's see if we have a black bead. We could stick the back a black bead on there. And let me just look and see what, how I'm gonna do the arms now. Let me just go back, panda. So the whole arm should be black and the whole back leg, just the back leg should be black. So let's see what we can do about that. And, hmm, mm hmm, not enough bamboo, that's sad. Okay, so now let's take this and see, we're going to, we want to attach it into here, but we also want the arms to be black. The face I think is okay now. So let's get some more black wire and see what we can do with that. I might have to kind of weave it in. If I, see, I don't think I have any black wire that's, if I have black wire that's 22 gauge, that would be helpful. Let me see if I have some, because the 20 is a little stiff for weaving. So we have 22, that's good. Hmm. Oh, where in the world did that come from? I have black 22 gauge wire, thank you Beetle on. I guess they sent it to me at some point. If you guys don't already know, Beetleon sends me all my wire and I'm very, very grateful for that. 
So let's get some, some of the black, 22. And I could also probably attach that nose with the 22 gauge wire. So let's do that too. Uh, looking good, thank you, Clarice. I appreciate the vote of confidence. It's definitely an interesting um, design. Uh, and like I said, even if it doesn't always turn out, it's always like a very interesting experiment. So, so I never regret spending time on these things because they often will, you know, help me come up with other ideas in the future. So it's always, it's always a worthwhile investment of time. So, and I appreciate you guys being here. And if you do have to go at any point, I understand. So here's the nose, super cute. So let's get the nose on there somehow. If we can attach, I guess we can attach it under here. Um, how are we gonna do this? If we just stick the nose here, might be interesting. Let's see, I'm gonna go that way and that way and see, see if those are gonna go on. I probably should have attached the nose in the first place because now attaching the nose after is pretty difficult. But you see, we could have just attached the nose in the first place. You know what might be easier too is before we wind it, let's try it that way. So before we wind the nose, take it out here probably attach it and then wind it. So let's try it that way. So we're gonna take the bead, four millimeter uh, glass bead, black, bend it, bend it, stick this on here, and see if that's gonna work. So hold it, wind it around, and yeah, I definitely should have attached the bead first. I think it would have been easier, maybe even to the black wire that I did the eyes with. That probably would have been better. So we have, and I could have done the black with the 22 gauge wire too. So if we put this one here and then bring this one and wind it maybe above where those wires were. Okay, we're gonna bring that one here and wind it above. It just gives it a little bit more umph to have the bead there rather than just the wire. So we'll see how it's going to look. And if you don't like it, then don't put the bead, but it's very, very cute. So let me clip that one. I'm not gonna worry too much about what the back looks like. And then this one too, we're gonna bring that through one more time here. And then we can squeeze all those wires underneath so we don't see them. Okay, so let's do that. Clip that. There. So it's cute. It's subtle. You can't really see it that much, but I think it's cute with the I think it's cute with the bead. It just it gives it like a shiny little thing there. It's very hard to see for you guys. But in the photo, you'll see it a little better. So now let's go ahead and try to figure out how to make this um, the black. So we're gonna take the wire, the 22 gauge wire, and we're going to wind it around. I'm not gonna worry about the back arm because it's not gonna show, but I am going to do this front arm here. And I'll wind it through a couple of times here. I'm gonna bring this one here and clip that. And from there, we're gonna take this one here and try to do a wire weaving thing. Now, I remember Amber's trick. She said to push it through like that rather than to put the end through. So I remember, Amber, you told me that wire weaving trick. So we're gonna try that and stick it up a little bit and then bring it down to this side. So again, we're gonna have to feed it through somehow. This might not work. So we're gonna see how well this is gonna work because now I'm not sure I can feed that through or not. I'm gonna try to feed the end through. 
I'm thinking rather than weaving it, I should have just done it with a different wire, but we're gonna see. So this is definitely a exercise in seeing how things would work. Now, I bet if I had, like, if it was small, you could use black nail polish and um, fill in the areas with color. Now, that might be interesting to do that. Much better, thinner wire. Yeah, you're right, 22 is not thin enough. But the trouble is if I use thinner wire, it's gonna take me forever to do this. Already it's gonna take a long time. So, okay, let's figure this out. Let's move this out to get it. I'm just moving it out of the way because it's really, really not working out. So, and then I'm gonna do my cheat because this is gonna take me forever, ever, ever to weave it. So I'm going to wind it and see how that's gonna work. So we're just gonna wind it around because weaving would take forever. And we're gonna see how this works, if it's gonna work. We're just gonna wind it, wind it around. Might or might not work. Probably what might have been nicer is just a chaos wrap. Might have been nicer and that fills it in, a chaos wrap fills it in really well and it also like has a nice finished look. But because we've just started with this, let's just continue and then think about like, I'll, I'll link up some of the other videos like the dolphin and other ones like that where I've actually done a chaos wrap to fill it in. And you might consider doing something like that for the panda it might be interesting. So this one, see as we're getting to the end, it's getting a little pushed in. So maybe what I will do is as we get to this end, I will do more like a weaving thing so I can keep these wires spaced apart. Because the minute you start just to wind, the wires pull together so you lose that form, that width there. But when you weave, you can keep that space in between those two base wires. So that's the advantage of weaving, whereas when you just wind, it gets quite distorted. So let's just do this. Bring that one around. I'm just gonna weave the last few wires there just to see if we can somewhat keep that distance there. And maybe I'll just keep going till I get towards the end of the wire. This is just a traditional, I don't know what you call this weave, uh, Amber, maybe you can tell me what that just basic weave is where you just wind around, go through and over and wind around. There must be a name for that. It's like a basic weaving, but I don't know any of the terminology for wire weaving. So we're uh, corset, corset weave. Well, that makes sense. It's like a corset or a basket. Yeah, nice. Okay, good to know. I did not know that. That's the only weave I know how to do. So if there are other weaves, there's, I think there's some where you do like, um, you use three, four different base wires and then you get different effects with that sort of a, a v, v type formation type of thing. But yeah, I'm not a wire weaver. Uh, many of the people in our wire makers club are weavers, but um, I would not be in that in that particular category. So there we go. It actually looks good with the weave too. So if you have the patience and the time to weave it, it just gives it a nice little, it gives it a nice little effect. So you can see that there, looks good. And rather than do too much, I'm just gonna go ahead and clip it because we're gonna run out of time here. It's already 2.30. So here's our, our arm. Ah, it's kind of funky. It's a little weird, but it's kind of funky. So there's our, whoa, his eyes are getting distorted too, but I can fix those out after. So we have an arm and we have, and then now we just need the back leg. And let me just see, I think it's just the back leg. Yeah, it's just the back leg, not the butt or anything. So let's see if we can do this, that back leg. And rather than rather than do the chaos wrap, because I'm already invested in this winding thing. So let's just go ahead and do that or figure eight. Cool, okay, cool. 
So let's get some wire, more wire, and decent size, not too, too long though. I'm gonna take a piece, uh, sip. And after this, I might just try one more. And um, I could even do, maybe I could even do more pandas next week if I don't get them all done today. So what we're going to do now is take this and again, start on the end. We're just gonna start on the end of this one. Bring that one around. And again. Okay. Okay, there. And now we're gonna wind it around here. So we're gonna start with the weave hold it in place, bring that one around, at least to get the first few winds down, okay, around here, and then over to this side, so we're going to go here and bring that one around, in you go. There, bring that one around here. So yeah, we've got our beginning, beginning points. And then we're gonna just try to wind it around a bit, I think, because otherwise, this might, maybe I'll go around one more time because it's twisting around a little bit. So we're gonna bring it around one more time here. And here. Okay, so now let's just try to go back and forth. So if you have time, you should weave it, but I don't have that much time. So I'm just gonna wind it here, just to fill it in with the black. And I'm sure there's other ways to do this, but for today, we're just gonna keep going in the way that I've started it. So we're gonna go in here. You could do the chaos wrap. You could do like a spiral thing. I'm gonna go around and around and just keep going until we use up the wire. And I guess in theory, it should go like a little further up here, but not right up to the butt. So I'm not 100% sure the best way to do that because we've got it, I probably should have sent the line up around there a little bit more because the it would like continue up there, but I'm not quite sure. What if we, just for the sake of trying to make it look right, we're gonna bring this one around here Get in there and okay. bring that one up here. And maybe I'll just bring it up through that one. I should have done like a continuous line around here and got the, like to look like the top of the leg type of thing. I can just fudge my way through this. So there we go. So we're gonna go here so that would represent like the whole leg there. So in that sense, say you wanted to keep going with the weave, we can bring it up and we can just figure it out. Maybe add another wire or something. So yeah, so there should have been a base wire going up and around, but I don't mind it with the black wire because you know, it's black anyways, right? So we're just gonna keep going with this, maybe add another wire to make it look right and bring this one around. And then we're gonna have to add the bamboo and see how it goes. So see, yeah, I've just created a more of a line for the legs so it continues how it normally should continue. And we're going to just keep 
going with this and maybe what I'll do is after the live stream I can go ahead and fill it in a little more and I'm just going to keep I think I'm going to keep going with the weaving though because if I wind it it's not going to hold in place so I think for especially when you have a thin wire there and a, and a unusual shape like I made it a little bit more curved so the winding isn't going to work as well so this way the weaving will hold it in place much better so I'm gonna I'll go ahead and get another wire now if you guys need to go take a pee or get a coffee go ahead I'm gonna just fill it in a little bit more and then we'll attach it there's Sharon hey Sharon how are you so now let's get another little piece of wire it doesn't have to be super long and I'm going to attach this and put this one on here and we're just going to keep going with it. So let's go ahead and attach this guy here, around here. I can clip it after and then bring this one around here. Oh, we should bring it in. Bring it in here. And around here and we're just going to keep going so perfect that one i'll clip after so that way and then down through here i'll try not to fill it in too much i'll just want to do enough so it looks like it's somewhat finished so we're going to bring that one in here And down here and through here yeah after this it's such a beautiful day I'm gonna go out for a little walk enjoy this nice weather I'm going to meet my friend Patrick for some supper there's a new vegan restaurant in near where we live so we're gonna do that and um, Patrick's my friend he was one of the judges on um, Live Wires for the Win last year, one of the guest judges, and he runs a uh, What's Up Montreal, which does all kinds of events and stuff in Montreal. And he used to like focus on uh, YouTubers, but now it's all kinds of content, content creators in Montreal. So that's awesome. And he's helped me with some of my videos and uh, marketing and stuff like that. So. That's cool. He doesn't do as many in-person events anymore. We used to do a lot of meetups and conferences and all kinds of stuff. So hopefully we'll get back to that one day soon. We're gonna, it's always good to work together, especially when you're an entrepreneur and when you're working in social media. It's, um, it's very helpful to have a community to support you and to um, inspire you. So that's what, uh, What's Up Montreal and YouTube Montreal, which is now called Creator HQ. They've been a huge inspiration for me and it's really awesome. So now, uh, raining. Oh, rain's not fun, but better than freezing rain or snow or, or hail or any of those things. So we're gonna bring this or tornadoes so now we're going to bring this one up. We're almost done. I'm going to maybe do a couple more and that'll be enough. And up here, maybe two more. And there. And one more down here. So through there. Yeah, the weaving looks really nice. So if you do have time, I think it's worth it. It looks really good and you can do them tighter. Uh, you could use thinner wire, although like I said, it's gonna take longer to fill in the areas if you're using thinner wire. So let's go ahead and clip those ends. And, okay, so there's, whoa, super cute panda. We have to fix his eyes a little bit. They got a little bit distorted, but if we push, okay, we try to push this one up a little bit. The nose got a little distorted too, but we kind of push the bead through there so it shows a little more. You'll see it better in the photo when I post a photo. So 
There's Panda so far. He's very cute. So uh, he's looking like a panda. Yeah, it's amazing, eh? The uh, perseverance pays. That's what they say. So now we're going to take this little one, which now I'm finding is not as contrasty as he was, as he could have been with that. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually take some gold wire, some 20 gauge gold wire, 18 gauge, sorry. And I'm going to take this, I'm going to try something. I'm going to take a piece of this and just because I find the brown doesn't contrast well with that. I'm going to try something and if it doesn't work, I'll go back to the brown. So now we are going to take this one and bend it to do the, we're going to try to do it twisted. This might not work at all. So this that way, that way. So what if I do, let me just think for a sec. Yeah, this you can also do the, you can do the weaving with this. That's the wrong way around. So, so what if we just do a twist thing? Twist, 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 twist. And then, yeah, this might or might not work because we want separations between them. So let me just see if we do that. Um... Just let me think, because I feel like there's a different way we can do this, but I'm not 100% sure. So if we do this and twist, twist, twist that way, um, not really working how I thought. If we, because we want to do, no, that's not working too well. Um, let me just think. I'm just going to play with this for a sec because sometimes you just need to play around with things to see how they're going to work uh, because this doesn't really look like bamboo, but it's not awful. You know what I mean? Like it's definitely not awful. Let me just see another piece. Uh, I'm going to take this one. Yeah, you could definitely what you could do is the way I had started the weaving wasn't really working, but you could go ahead with the gold and do a weaving type of thing. And then it's going to work out a little bit better. But what I'm going to do here is just let me think what I usually do with things like this. Um, let me just see. This is like that, maybe. I'm going to just try something different. Like that, like that, and that. No, okay. That way. Okay, that way. No, then it's going to look a little bit more like a, like a bone type of thing. And then that way. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm just thinking out loud here. Yeah, because that also doesn't, it sort of looks like bamboo, but not really. So let me just see what I'm going to do here. Kind of looks like a vase. Because there's this, and then like this. I just like the contrast a little bit better, but I'm thinking it's not going to super work out. So I think we're going to just go with the brown one as we were going before. And then think in terms of maybe using a lighter color, but maybe not. We're just going to keep going with this. So now what I want to do is we're going to do another leaf here. So let's go ahead and do another leaf. Uh, and I'm not gonna bother filling them in or anything. I'm just gonna keep it simple. So if we have this one here, and I'm gonna have to attach it to his arm. So let's go ahead and bring this one here. 
And this one actually should go over to that side. So here, I want that one here. And I will maybe bend that one to the back. That's going to be here. Okay, so the thing with this is there's no huge rules about it because you just have to improvise depending on how your thing is going and stuff. So let's just go ahead and take this one. That one's going to come to that side. So I want to somehow attach this here. And then I'm going to just bring the wire through. Bring it through here. So that'll be one leaf on this side. And then this side, I'll just bring it around once. Here, there. So then this side, you can do the two leaves on here. Down here. And that way. That way. Here. And that way down here. Perfect. So there we go. And I think, I don't know if I want to clip this yet or not. So let me just see if I'm going to need to clip it. I will cut it a little bit, but this one would get attached in the paw here. So that's where we have to see if we're going to bring it to the back or to the front. So maybe if we bring it through here, and oh yeah, this should also go between the the bottom legs too. So let's see, it's not showing up super well. That's the issue with this, but I think it's going to be all right. So why don't we bring this one up, bring it through the paw. It's okay, I think I'm gonna have it sticking out a little bit more, otherwise it's gonna be really hidden. Even though the paw should go around the bamboo, it's not gonna show up well unless I have it sticking out a little bit. So I think I will have it sticking out a little bit here. So it's sort of more to the side of the panda. We're just gonna do it that way and Maybe bring it up through again. This wire is, the 20 is quite stiff, so it's a little bit tricky to get it to hold in place. I'm gonna take this and tug that a little bit. Okay, so there's that one. I'll just clip it there. Okay, so it's sticking out a little bit, but otherwise it's not gonna show up well at all. And then this one, we're gonna bring it through the back we're going to bring it through the back paw to get it to stay in here. And that way it's just got a little bit more stability. And I'll wind it through here. Okay, so we're going to wind it through here. Get it to stay here. And... I'll just clip that. Perfect. So now we just need the leaves at the top and it's going to be done. Wonder if we could just get away with using this last piece here. So let's go ahead and attach this one here. We just need a little bit on one side. We're going to bring this one around here. Okay, let's give it a good little tug. There we go. And then this one, we're going to bring it around here. Push that one through. Bring that one down through here. Give it a good little tug here. And then I'm going to just wind this one. Make sure it's nice and snug. Bring that up, up. Up, I think I scratched this wire a little bit, but that's okay. We can even bring it around another time if we want. 
up to fill it in a little bit more. I'll bring it up, up, whoopsies, pinch it again, that way, and that way. Perfect. We just wind it around a little bit. Maybe one more time. I'll just clip it there. There we go. Perfect. And then now we're just going to take this and we're going to be done. So we're going to take that one there and there and there and then over here. That one and that one and that one. That way and that way. And that way. Perfect. That should be good. And we're going to clip that. Pinch that one there. And it's pretty well done, guys. Oh my goodness, this took forever, but it's cute. It's definitely cute. Uh, maybe fill it in with the white. White might be good too, just to give it a little bit more contrast. Like I don't have a white weaving wire, but you could weave some white in there as well. So that's it guys. So we only did two today, but we did a lot of work on that one. So I will definitely keep working on the pandas. And thank you, Kathy, so much for requesting them. I'll put a picture in the community section so you guys can see what they actually look like. Super cute, thank you. So let me flip the screen and say goodbye. And, oh, I'm glad you guys think it cute. So let me just turn this one around and then we're going to bring this one around. Bring this up a little bit. There we go. Perfect. So guys, thank you so much for watching the live stream. And I'll put pictures in the community section. And uh, thank you, Amber and Carice, for always moderating the chat. And uh, we'll see you, I guess, on Saturday for another video. Have a great day. Happy spring, everybody. I think yesterday was the first day of spring. And we will see you guys the next time. Oh, who's there? Tim. Hey, Tim. How are you? I didn't see you before. Nice to see you. So bye, guys, and we'll see you next time.